Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons, I'm Emma and in this video I'm going to show you how to paint a Magus from Jean Steeler Colts. I have never really painted anything from Jean Steeler Colts before but I have this model lying in my pile of shame slash opportunity and I thought it would be fun to do some different types of uh, textures or styles on cloth and so this model was perfect. So I start out using a pencil and I just draw on a border all along the uh, hem of the, I don't know, the skirt, the dress, the cloak, whatever this uh, thing is. So it'll be a little bit easier for me when I start using actual paint and brush. So as you can see the model has been primed using white scars and the first paint I am using is a contrast paint and this one is called Griffhound Orange. It's one of the older contrast paints, one of the oranges that is not quite as vibrant as some of the newer ones. Um, and um, it has been a uh, lying around a little bit forgotten but I thought it might make a little bit of sense uh, to use it on this project here. Then for the border of the dress cloak whatever I am using Volopus Pink also one of the older contrast paints and the reason I'm going for some of the less vibrant contrast paints compared to some of the newer ones is because then it'll be a little bit easier for me to get a lot of really nice um, contrast uh, in the look and the highlights uh, when I start doing those uh, later on. Then for the sash that she's got around her neck, I believe uh, if you were like a priest it would be called a stole or a stole from ancient Greek. Uh, I am using a purple color and this one is Lokshan purple, uh, also contrast paint and it's going to be really nice nice and clashy against the orange which is what I'm going for because the jeans dealer calls to me are just weird and wonderful and can really pull off some clashing uh, color schemes. So that's what uh, well, that's what I'm going for with this one. Then for the um, then for the ripped armor kind of look, I use uh, Croxico scales, uh, another contrast paint, sort of a nice turquoise color. And for the shadows on the stole, I am using a Keeling green, a little bit more of a darker contrast color, just to make sure there will be some uh, different. Uh, uh, differences between light and shadow here on the story because really the contrast paint doesn't have a lot to work with here. Then I get a very thin brush and some black legion contrast paint and I start to draw in the designs on the hem and I have decided just to go with some simple triangles uh, because the area that I'm going to be painting is quite small and so I don't want something that is too difficult to pull off. This is just a for fun painting project something that I think I don't know how I spent like four or five hours something like that painting this and I didn't want something that would take like 20 hours or something so trying to keep it as simple as possible while still having fun then I take and I'm afraid this is a little bit blurry I'm sorry about that I take a brown contrast paint this is snake bite leather and I add some hashtag hash mark hashtags <laughs> hash marks um, on the model to add a little bit of a shadow on the cloak and once I'm happy with that, I take a um, orange paint and this one is called Fanatic Orange from uh, Duncan Rhodes. And I do exactly the same thing, this time only trying to add some um, highlights to the, uh, to the cloth. Once I'm happy with that, I take another orange. This one is from Huge Miniatures and it's called Laser Orange, which is a nice fluorescent orange. And I do exactly the same thing, trying to add highlights. Um, I try to make it so that it follows the folds in the cloth and also there perhaps are a little bit more of the lighter colors on the top and a little bit less on the bottom um, but I'm not really concerned with trying to make it look really natural at all and um, I think uh, I, I, yeah, that is just not my painting style. I, I also do a nice edge highlight at the bottom, making sure that you can very clearly see the separation between the orange cloak and the uh, purple hem uh, at the edge of that. Then lastly, I take some Flash Kids Yellow and I use that for the final layer of highlights here on the cloak. Then I am starting to paint in the triangular shapes on the hem. And first I am using a pink color from Huge Miniatures and this one is called Pulse Wave Pink. And I try to do sort of an edge highlight all around the triangle. Um, and again, this is just to sort of have fun with different shapes and colors. And so I'm not trying to 
make sure that this follows exactly the way it would look if it was actually you know a pattern on a real piece of cloth i'm just painting it in to make it look cool and to have a little bit of fun with it then because i am going for a lot of weird contrasting colors on this mini i decided that the uh, other uh, triangles on the hem here would be uh, would be green and so i went for a quantum green from huge miniatures also a fluorescent green i thought it would look fun and i mean now this this model is it's not very big it's still like an ordinary small um single uh, hero uh, mini and i have so many riotous uh, shapes and colors and textures and it's way over the top which I think fits this model very nicely. If I was trying to do other types of, of miniatures, I would go for, uh, definitely go for other color schemes and perhaps something that was a little bit more down to earth and not quite as confusing. But I think confusion is the name of the game for Jean Stiller cults. And so I think this is, uh, this is pretty cool. Um, then I do uh, next, uh, the next layer of highlights on the uh, pink. And for that, I am using cyber pink for um, huge miniatures. The green triangles also get a little bit of a highlight and this time I'm using Starfire Yellow also from Huge Miniatures. You can't see it very easily here on the video but it shows up a little bit better uh, in real life. Then for highlighting the stole I use a metal sculpting tool just to make tiny dots. I find it a lot easier to do with a sculpting tool than with a brush and I'm using Alien Purple from Vallejo. And for the last highlight, I decided I wanted a brighter, a smaller dot in the middle. And for that, I used Ultraviolet from Huge Miniatures. And I used the same sculpting tool just at the other end where it's even smaller. It's, it's basically more or less just like a pin or something that I'm using here. Um, I quite like, like making tiny small dots with the, with the sculpting tool. It's, it's uh, somehow strangely satisfying. <laughs> Um, I then take my uh, Black Legion once again and I just sharpen up the triangles here on the hem of the cloak just trying to make everything look nice and sharp. And here you can see the final result and I think it worked uh, really well with the, uh, with the cloak, uh, with the uh, um, hash marks or the cross hatching on the, uh, on the main body of the cloak and then with the triangles painted on the hem that was quite fun. Um, I'm not sure I think the stole worked really well. Um, there is too little, too little contrast somehow. Um, the purple looks a little bit too samey. So if I was to redo it, I would, uh, I think I would have another um, base color than the Lockshun purple. And then again, and then try with the dots using the sculpting tool again. Oh well, but um, yeah, I still think this was fun and it was, uh, and it was cool and I, I like it. Uh, I really like the difference between the sharp triangles and the more uh, organic looking cloth. And I especially like the way it looks under a UV light. Um, um, it's often quite fun, but I think on this particular model, it looks way better under a UV light than it does under real light. And again, somehow that just, to my mind at least, fits really well with the whole idea of the Jean Steeler cults. So uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. So that was what I wanted to show you today. And if you have any questions or comments or ideas for other videos you'd like to see, you are, of course, as always, more than welcome to leave that in the comments section below. Uh, I always, of course, always appreciate a like. And uh, even if you perhaps would consider subscribing to the channel. I also recently launched my Patreon and there are already some awesome people who have decided they want to support Dyson Demons. So thank you so much to the Demon Raid Thomas Masson, the Demon Crawler Andre Correa and Anthony Paul Castro and the Demon Knights TJ Kupiak, Mando Project, Starcon85 and Esbeer. Thank you guys so much. It really means the world to me. Also, remember, if you want to stay up to date on my painting projects, you can follow me as Dyson Demons over and Twitter, on Twitter and Instagram. I'll, of course, uh, leave a link to my Patreon in the show notes. So uh, if you uh, want to consider supporting there, uh, I would really, really appreciate it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.